In this video, we're going to compare Ariane and Evan's Kaizen base versus the old base. We'll see. Is it really that much better? I don't know. We'll find out. We're also going to be using the Rockwell 6C Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And if it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned, today we're going to compare... Kaizen, 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 Kaizen by Ariane and Evans, the base. This is a uh, so-called SoCal hipster, must have in my opinion, beautiful scent, but we're not really gonna get too much into that today, scent costs or anything like that. Gonna compare it with the last base, or at least presumably what I think is the last base of St. Bart's, another beautiful must have scent in my opinion. And so what I've done is I have scooped out half teaspoon of each of these soaps and I have put them in separate bowls using the same amount of water. I actually used, with my continuous mister, eight bursts of water in each bowl. And a burst is that much water, which is a fair amount of <laughs> water actually. Eight bursts in each, same amount of water, same amount of soap, using the same brush minus the color. This one is St. Bart's matching the sort of blue, and this one is the SoCal Hipster, a little red in that, so hopefully we'll be, <laughs> we'll be able to keep those uh, separate. The razor today is the Rockwell 6C, which is a terrific value. Um, again, available, I have a link below to Amazon if you're interested. $49.99, lifetime warranty. Now this is a, ch a chromed alloy, this is not the stainless steel. The stainless steel is the 6S, also another Excellent value, and again, today I'm using the R5. Whatever is showing on the bottom is the setting. I'm using the five plate, uh, and it's nice and efficient. Gillette Nasset is the blade. Now, I wanna go through the ingredients with you. And so what I have here is a paper. Well, actually, let me show you a slide. I'll underscore some of the uh, differences in ingredients. So the yellow highlights are the differences between the two. So you'll see, for example, in the old formula, it has mango butter, whereas Kaizen doesn't have. And each yellow item identifies a difference between the two formulas. So you can look at that a little bit and see that the, the ingredients in these formulas are indeed different. So we can start there and say, and at least establish, yes, we have different ingredients. The question will be, do those differences in ingredients matter that much? I don't actually know the answer. We seek to find it out. So. Let's go ahead and mist. We have our standard 24 hours of growth today. And there we go with our uh, misting. And we'll start with Kaizen on the right side here. Both make a very creamy lather. I'll tell you that right now. No problems lathering either one. I'm gonna split my face as best I can right down the middle, just so we can see. I just wanna see if I feel during the shave any difference. Both are creamy. Both have excellent consistency. Both are great scents. The question is, is Kaizen that much better than the last uh, formula? And honestly, most of the time, in my opinion, the answer to that is no um, when it comes to reformulations. That's sort of my default view, is that you're really not getting, you're getting an incre incremental improvement generally. Now, I will say the, the Kaizen seem to handle the water a little bit better. I think it can handle a little more water if that's important to you, but the old formula is still, um, I put the same amount of water in each and uh, the lather on it is quite good as well. Performance-wise is what I'm looking to, to see if there's a difference in. Nuts and bolts, mechanically, does one have more slickness, more, more this, more that, this? more or the other and you know generally my feeling is you're not going to be able to tell that much a difference i can tell you that the kaizen at least in my opinion takes water a little better or will take water easier in terms of slickness there i mean very very nice and by the way this is our last day with sneaky pete back there and of course he's back there saying kaizen is 12 times better kaizen is 12 times better Definitely, I would say takes water better, but will it make that much difference in the actual shave mechanically? 
um, actual performance, not post-shave. I'm not concerning myself with that. I'm just interested in its ability to allow this razor to do its work, which is the job of the soap. I use post-shave products, so I'm not really all that interested in the post-shave of a soap. You may be, but for my use case, I just want to know, does it lather well? Do I enjoy it? And I've completely rinsed it off. <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> from, you know, just in feeling the razor move along, they feel the same. Um, I think the lather looks a bit different, but just in feeling the razor sort of gliding along, I'm not really noticing any difference. As far as slickness goes in the next pass, I'll sort of make a stroke on each side and see if I can tell any difference in residual. That has great residual slickness. That still feels very slick too. Both formulas are very good. My general advice for people is to do not rebuy soaps in the new formula if you already have it. That's my general rule. Buy new soaps that the artisan comes out with. But don't feel compelled to rebuy. In most cases, you're not getting that much difference. There is difference. I've showed you the ingredients and I think I can tell a ever so slight difference. But honestly, that first pass was excellent on both sides. And if you were to ask me, Am I unhappy with the last base? Um, I don't want to contaminate here, so let's sort of, actually, let's just wipe that off. That way we're not spreading them around on each other. Um, do I think, well, let me, let's just go back. Do I think it's that important to buy soap in the new base that it just renders the old base obsolete? Absolutely and positively not. We'll lather this side first with the St. Bart's, which is the old base. And again, this is good stuff here. I, I don't think it's anything to, to sneeze at. I think it's still one of the best soaps on the market in terms of its abilities to provide the slickness and all the qualities that you want in a soap. Is, is Kaizen better? Probably a little, but honestly, to me, so far, it just feels slight. Again, I could tell a little difference in in the way they handled water. I do think Kaizen can handle water a little more. But to me, that's not a, it's not that big of a deal. I think I made a better lather with the Kaizen. I think it's more creamy, as you can see the difference. Now, this has, you know, obviously been sitting on my face a bit longer. I do think Kaizen here my lather is a bit creamier, and I think it's due to that ability to hold water. And Pete's back there going, I told you so, it's 12 times better. <laughs> I would say, again, in my opinion, most of the reformulations are incremental of improvement, slight. And so, if you're trying to be a good steward of your wallet, um, I would say... You know, you don't need to buy all the same scents in the new formula. That's just me. Okay, let's go over here. In terms of mechanically there, razor gliding along the face, I don't, I cannot tell any difference whatsoever. Residual slickness, very good on both sides. Um, I think one makes a lather that looks a little bit better, although I think if I work the St. Bart's in the old formula, I could probably achieve the same result as far as looks go. I do think Kaizen can hold a little bit more water, so you might be able to have a more hydrated lather, perhaps, with Kaizen. And by the way, this razor with the Gillette Nasset blade is just wonderful. Actually, I should have just put it on six. <laughs> but five is a good go-to play for me. I like it. Uh, I'm not feeling a ton of blade feel on blade feel on five, but I'm used to using open blades, so I like to caveat that, you know. Really nice on the Kaizen side. That's to be expected. It is, in my opinion, one of the best soaps on the market. Now, I know there are people, I just saw a video yesterday where Marianne talked about a customer service issue 
uh, over a brush he ordered and he sent the old one back and it took, you know, like a month. There was a problem with the brush and he sent it back and it took him a month to get the other one. And, you know, we'd like to see, honestly, we have to be fair. And people do reach out to me and express sometimes they're not happy with the speed at, at which A&E or the club ships and so on and so forth. And um, a gentleman just wrote me yesterday and said he was not happy that his, his emails were unanswered. And so um, my suggestion, you know, take those up with, with Pete. Um, I do hope those things improve. Uh, from my perspective, the, the service uh, issues for me have been mostly good. Occasionally there's, you know, uh, a delay. They're not always super speedy. Um, I think he will take care of your customer service issue, but like it, as was the case with Marion, it wasn't speedy in getting resolved. Um, and then, you know, on the same token, I know Pete was busy moving his uh, operation and so on, but honestly, the customers don't care about that. The customers want just good customer service. They don't want to hear small family business. They don't want to hear any of that. And I have to be, I have to have the same standard with Pete, even though he's my friend, even though I like him, even, even though I wish and I hope for his success. I have to use, hold him to the same standard that I hold other artisans to. And the truth is, if I had a brush that was bad and I sent it back and it took over a month to get the replacement, I probably would not be happy with that. And so those are things that can be worked on. The product is first rate, but I think my opinion, this is just my opinion, a lot of energy goes into product creation based on what I hear from other people and the complaints that I get. <laughs> uh, the same energy, I don't know, that goes into the customer service side. So there's room for improvement. And, and you know, this Kaizen is all about improvement. I, I think that's a something that could improve, but you know, just my opinion. Generally, I have had good customer service from A&E, and I do love the product. You can't beat the product. I mean, it's it's well priced, um, but we we do have to make an effort to be completely transparent and honest, and not cut Pete slack where we where we wouldn't give another artisan. And so, I know some people get upset when I say these things. I'm sorry, but we have to be fair across the board, and if I ask myself, if I sent a brush back that was bad, first of all, let me give you an example. Because I've had this happen with PA. Had something happen with PA, it was a brush. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And as soon as I mentioned it, boom, he sent out a brush right away and then sent a return label for the brush to be returned. So it didn't even cost me any money. And it was right away, he shipped one right away. And so, um, that's how PAA handled it. And so I, I think others can learn from that sort of customer service. Now, as you can see here, difference in the lather, use the same amount of water in this. The Kaizen holds the water better. I don't think there's any question because this one you can see is just not the same consistency. It is excellent, however, and I promise you, I won't buy St. Bart's and Kaizen just because Kaizen is out. But I think Kaizen holds water um, better. I think you can I think you can probably see that even though that's been setting for a while. It's uh it's still quite good. Both these scents go well together, by the way, so which is why I chose them. St. Bart's and SoCal Hipster are, are fantastic. Um I really enjoy both scents. Um I do think that at least in terms of its ability to hold water, the Kaizen is a, a step up. Um when it comes to just the nuts and bolts of the shave, that is the razor gliding. Um, there being plenty of slickness, both old and new are excellent. Um, top tier. So I know Pete's soap, you know, the, the formula got a lot of attention when Kaizen came out. But honestly, I would argue this old one is <laughs> was top tier as well. So, you know, both... I would say are winners. And uh, so if, if you have an old Ariana and Evan soap um, of the last formula, my opinion, no, there's no uh, compelling reason 
Unless you just want to maybe BST that one and get Kaizen just because you want Kaizen. Um, I don't think there's any compelling reason. And not only with this soap, but with most artisan soaps, to chase the latest base or feel compelled to buy things you already have. Get the new stuff that comes out. Or, or, if you can get these old bases at a discount, I would still buy the old base at a discount. I'm going to be honest. Save a few bucks because it is going to work great. It has great residual slickness, just like the other side does. Um, I don't evaluate posts, but, excuse me, I imagine the posts will be quite good on both. But since I use post products, I just don't think it's fair to be someone who talks about post shave if you're using a lot of post products, especially like I do, using alum and witch hazel and alcohol-based aftershaves, which have astringent qualities. I don't think you can lose with it <laughs> either one of these. Um, pretty much the only knock I hear on A&E is customer service or speed of fit for, easy for you to say, fulfillment. That's it. It's pretty much the only knock. Product-wise, excellent. Occasionally, I think people have uh, sensitivities to some of the scents I do not. I've only ever had sens sensitivity, I think, to one or two historically, and I've tried a ton. It is just, an, it is really an outstanding product. Whether you're using the old base or the new base, I think they're both winners. And honestly, I would put the old base up against most of the most of the, the uh, premium bases that are out there now. And it doesn't come at a premium price. So there's your benefit. Again, on the other side of it, speed of fulfillment, you know, maybe some wonky issues from time to time, or at least that's what's reported to me. And so uh, I have to share it. And I know some people don't like it. The A&E fa fanboys get upset when I mention those things, but this channel is about being honest, transparent, and we don't show favoritism or we try our best not to at the very least. Okay. Let's rinse, we'll come back, get into the post, stay tuned. All right, we're back with the ma magic, excuse me, made by witches. And by the way, I wanna mention again, if you're still watching, there is a contest to get one of these hand-tied knots from Strike Gold Shave. Name the knot to win. Uh, I will link the video below, which contains the details on that. All right, very, very nice. Magic made by witches, there, that is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber in a sprayer. That was a phenomenal shave. Actually, these two scents go very well together. Let me grab them for you. St. Bart's in the old formula. Excellent, outstanding scent, outstanding quality. SoCal Hipster in the new formula. Now, now, the one thing I clearly notice in the bowls, having used the same amount of soap, same amount of water, the Kaizen does hold more water and it retains a little bit more creamy of the lather. Because I'm seeing in the bowls, I'm not going to waste time showing you, but the Kaizen definitely holds the water better. I think I've established that. Mechanically, in terms of slickness, it's a wash. Either one are great. So my advice to you, if you're buying a new soap, go ahead and get the Kaizen. If you see the old soaps in that old formula at a discount, snag them because this stuff is still good. There's no reason <laughs> not to still use the old stuff. It is still outstanding. And we're going to finish off today with SoCal Hipster, which is beautiful, in my opinion. The A&E aftershaves are quite good. Overall, everybody wins, I think. This is a really nice, oh man, nice citrus burst from the SoCal Hipster. And of course, we use the Rockwell 6C. Phenomenal value, in my view. Um, six settings via the plates. You just can't beat this razor. $49.99. Sometimes you can get it even cheaper. Everybody wins with this shave today. So there you have it. Kaizen, slightly better, holds more water. That's the only edge I can really give it. Apart from that, everybody wins because these are great soaps in my opinion. Thanks so much for joining me. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.